YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome back to the Kalita campaign, where Kalita now has to try and double back across the territory because freaking stupid Teclas let the uh, Skaven get behind me. But I'm not salty about it or anything. Not, not me, folks. No. That's not me. <laughs> Alright, we've got our Necrotect here. It's leveled up. Let's make him a Canopic Jar Hoarder. Let's check our jars per turn. We're doing pretty good. 24 jars per turn. Got a pretty fair number of jars. I'd like to be able to get some trade opened up with some of the uh, other elf factions. Lord of the Phoenix so that eventually we could get a hold of some gemstones and other things like that. that nothing can live in the Hecara? If I make a trade game with these guys, though, it's going to make this other one. I don't know why these two are at war. I serve the king. It's kind of weird. You need me? Does anybody have gemstones? I really want some gem... Ooh. These guys have gemstones. More of your bones I shall if you make offer butter I hate. Ha! <laughs> I'm trading with the Skaven and look at the uh, projected income. <laughs> so All right, I now have access to gemstones. Took a trade agreement with a rather questionable character to get it, but I want those gemstones uh, for the uh, mortuary cult. So that we can get down here and hopefully get some of this uh, other stuff. So we got gemstones. Looks like I need obsidian as well. If I could get a hold of obsidian, we can get some of these better items in there. So good to know. Got some recruiting going on. Got my third army up over here. Probably Soul Reaper. They have served me well. A true warrior of Libaras. Training. Okay. So these guys are 20, 20 at 20 in terms of units. There's still a Skaven settlement at the mortuary. We'll head over that way shortly. And. Public order and untainted because there's a lot of Skaven corruption. Stinking clan pestilence. At least they're trying to do something to the clan pestilence army. They're not. Didn't succeed, but. Give Teclas credit for attempting to right the wrong there. Would be good to actually. If we could get an army over here to take back. Because I'm assuming we're going to lose Sentinels of Zeddy by the time I get there. To take it back and then actually take the Chamber of Visions. And I'm also starting to wonder, too, if. It looks like it would be quicker. What is fewer turns? I mean, if I come this way, I'm going to be trying to get behind that army, and that's still a whole lot of turns. That's a whole lot of turns. I mean, there is no quick way to get around these mountains. Because we can't go underground. And I still have to finish recruiting those scorpions. So I mean, we're probably just going to lose the Sentinels of Zeddy. That's all there is to that. Let's move down here to Marks of the Old One. There's a Skaven army threatening down here. Probably came from the settlement. So we can try and take it out and then move on over to the mortuary. Don't have a whole heck of a lot of money here. Let's see. Let's do an obelisk and get some growth too. Plus it has untainted, which is nice. Okay, let's end a turn. You need to be going back around to take out that Skaven army you let pass me there. Genius. Yeah, we're nothing we can do here. So they're breaking through that even faster than I had hoped. I knew there wasn't much defense, but sometimes the AI sits around and sieges for too long.
We gotta get back to defend our home province, because the Skaven are about to ruin it. Teclis is just gonna sit on his fat butt and let a Skaven army roam around next to his territory. Hmm. So there's a Doom Engineer roaming around. Alright, we're marching. It's going to take us a heck of a long time. So we're one, two, three, four turns before we even get past the Dust Gate. And there's a Skaven army right there, basically. Hopefully the AI sees fit to camp. This Skaven army is just being stupid and trying to go around me because it doesn't want to fight. So we're just going to push forward and hit their settlement. That'll force their hand one way or the other. I don't see how it could hurt to have another catapult here. I mean, am I wrong? Probably a chariot or something. That'd be four chariots. We'd have a lot of chariots. Let's see. Yeah, the chariot's easy to get a hold of, so let's do it. Let's end another turn. There's not a whole lot else I need or want to do right now. <laughs> Jerks. Whatever. Yeah, he's already headed south, so Teclis is going to have caused us a pretty significant loss here because I'm going to have to go retake all that. Not to mention the public order problems and everything else it's going to cause us. I mean, I'm over here beating the living crap out of the Skaven and Teclis can't even... I know they have walls, but really? Clan rats? I don't think so. Let's continue the siege, get my equipment. And then we'll actually fight the siege battle. I don't care if they take the, the altar over there. I mean, it's... I, I do. I don't want them to take it, but... I don't care in the sense that I can't do anything about it. So, in that sense, I don't care. I hate that I'm going to lose the Golden Colossus. This is useful for me. I'm... I've got good recruiting, trade goods, and it's just going to drop to Skrulk's crappy rat spam. I don't think I have the means to defeat this army, or else I'd go ahead and go for it. Keep working on the nets of Amatok. Yeah, I mean, we just don't have the right units to kill... All of the very dangerous things in that army. Not alone, at least. With two armies, I might be able to overrun them. So now we're going to get a little bit of pushback from a few factions. This is just infuriating. I can't say enough about how infuriating that is. No need in spending any money here, because Skrulk's about to ruin a bunch of stuff. I'm actually going to save my money so I can put in another Scorpion's Nest there. So yeah, I don't want to spend anything else. Having Tomb Scorpions in a couple of the different armies is going to be a huge boost to my killing power. Especially against crap rat stacks like this. I mean, if I had any, any inkling that I could win this, I would fight it. But it's not going to happen. We're just going to get overwhelmed by numbers. Man, I can't tell you. My blood's about to boil. I mean, it's just, it's, I guess the reason why it's making my blood, it's just a game, right? Trying to calm it down, but it's like I have beat the living crap out of these rats, and somehow, despite having taken the absolute thrashing that they've taken, they still had the money 
to raise up a full stack of crap clan rats and managed to get around the flank that Teclas didn't guard, even though Teclas came in and took one of their settlements. And here we are. <laughs> now I've got to watch two or three of my settlements fall to them as they just sweep through my land because of unfortunate circumstances. I should be able to intercept them. They can't get to the Forgotten Isle, thankfully, so I think that we're going to at least limit their damage at this point. And since we're not going to fight these guys, um, I say we go ahead and just bring this army over. And we'll get ready to try and support that so that we can break that siege loose and come back to the altar of the Horn Rat. So we could spend money here now, actually, but there's not a building I really want there. It's here where I want to build the Scorpion's Nest, but we're still shy of the money a bit. Gonna have a rebellion here. Not much I can do about that. Yep. It's nice of you to sit around there that whole time, Techless. Now you're heading in the direction you don't need to be because I've already got that situation well under control. That's weird. They just broke the siege and took off and left the rebels there. It's very strange indeed. I'm not at war with those guys. What are they up to? Well, the good news is, is Clan Pestilence is about to be ultimately wiped out. And then we know the pattern that army is moving in, so we can just get ready to intercept them at some point. What? Both of those suck. Thanks a lot. Arise, legions. Arise, legions. You know, we haven't fought a, a siege battle, I don't think, with the Tomb Kings, so let's fight it. We should absolutely overwhelm these guys, no question about it. I'm going to use a skeleton to push the battering ram, and then I'll, I've got a tower... I can put some Tomb Guard in the tower or something, and then we'll just rush the walls with all the rest of my units. Uh, reinforcements are coming from this side, so let's actually stay on this side, then we'll send our reinforcements to hit the walls on that side. Let's drop that. Drop that, drop that. Tomb Guard, take a tower. Tomb Guard, take a tower. Skeleton warrior, take the ram. Start deployment, put the ram up here. Let's... Uh, tomb guard, I think we can land a tomb guard right there and there. That means our Nehekara warriors need to be here. Let's... Some meat shield with the skeleton. Put some skeletons here in the center just to kind of What's with the uh oh, it's the uh siege cone. It's like what's with the purple bar there? And yeah, duh. All right. These units can go through the gate. Do something like this. Put those units together. Let's just put these two tomb guard together. Let's actually stick these guys in this group. There we go. Put those back there for now. Let's start the battle. Okay. Siege towers on the move, get the ram on the move. Just kind of start moving forward. You all push forward. And we got a whole army coming on over here. Let's get them on and then we'll push them all forward. A 
I'll just get everything on the battlefield here. Casket of Souls. Let's go ahead and start attacking that. Same thing. Eventually attack that, push all this stuff up. Skeletons are doing a nice meat shield. Push them up there. These guys go ahead and push up. Let's get a view of uh, some cinematics here. Skaven unleashing some artillery. Oh my gosh, those towers look pretty dang sweet, I'm not gonna lie. That'd be cool if like these snakes were some kind of construct that would start like biting the dudes when you get close. The siege battles, like the background and stuff, looks super good. The battle itself is just, they're kind of boring. They're not bad, they're just kind of boring. If Creative Assembly continues to work on stuff like this, it could really be something special instead of just being kind of, kind of lame. Check out some of the uh, different units here. Got all these guys. Ooh, we got some warp lightning. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Cause my guys were all bunched up. Holy cow! That like just that almost one shot at our tomb card there. <laughs> that was insanely effective. Insanely effective. Push up. Push up here. Wow, we are just getting flogged by artillery over here. Oh man, my tomb guard. Uh, I think we're going to be re-recruiting a tomb guard here soon. I don't think I have any spells that can effectively do anything about that. Because that only works on myself. That only works on constructs. Yeah, pretty much crap out of luck here. Gate's gonna be open soon. I got these skeletons in here to at least lend a hand, but these tomb guard are most likely... Wow, man. This freaking warlock engineer is really not making my day pleasant. Start climbing the wall, boys. Tear the doors open. How's our artillery? Oh, they're summoning stuff back here. Go get rid of that. Okay. Alright, we're trying to work on their catapult. I'm not having great luck so far. We got some Nehakara warriors on the walls. Let's come over here. Our tomb guard's crumbling out. Okay, the, I think the gates, yeah, the gates are open. Okay, get through. That warlock engineer's gotta die. Shameful display. <laughs> that screaming skull catapult's doing almost nothing. Yeah, apparently when it comes to anti-artillery, that screaming skull looks really cool though. Can we shoot the screaming skull manually? I've not tried it. Oh, there's trees in the way, too, that might be causing part of that issue. Yeah, you can shoot it manually, unlike the Casket of Souls. But you can't actually, like, control its trajectory. Looks really cool, though. Yeah, I don't see you shoot any warp lightning now, you piece of crap warlock engineer. Oh, yeah, here it is. Put an end to this real fast. There are some, uh... Rat ogres nearby that would probably best my um, shop D, but we can at least try and shut down this catapult. All right, our guys are starting to get up on the walls. We defeated their summons over here. Gates are open. Let's push through. Got skeletons keeping the stuff on the walls busy. Got guys pouring through the gates now. Let's get over there. I 
I got guys doing all kinds of weird pathfinding, but again, I guess that's kind of the nature of Siege. Really? A Tomb Guard got defeated over here? I'm going to lose two Tomb Guards? That one had a Silver Chevron, too. What did they get defeated by? Clan Rats? Really? 40 kills on the Clan Rats? That's frustrating. I don't understand how Nehakara Warriors are doing anything but absolutely owning in that fight, but... The only Musk is... That's beef. Oh, that's so frustrating. Get over here. I am reborn. Let's get the cavalry up here, too. We're going to end up losing a few more units here than I would have liked. But somehow the Skaven leadership... Look at their leadership. I mean, they're massively outnumbered. They have no hope. Look at the leader bar. Nah, nah, our leadership's fine. We're steady. <laughs> We're steady. No big concerns. Yep, still steady leadership for the Skaven. 70 kills for clan rats with shields. And a lot of those were tomb guard. I'd sure like to have that explained to me. But, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm just waiting here. Should check the... Uh, look, look at this. Shaken, finally. Shaken. Ah, okay, now they're gonna chain route. That was a conveniently long time for them to stay in the fight. Okay, let's end the battle. Oh, man. Lost both those tomb guard. That's infuriating. But at least I didn't lose, like, any shop tea or something that's gonna take a lot longer to recruit. But, I mean, those were silver chevron tomb guard. It's gonna make me cry. I alone shall restore Didn't lose anything in the other army, so. My new city. Occupy. Exterminator. Find my harm. A true warrior of Libaras. So here recruit rank. Melee defense for Shabti. Casualty replenishment rate, that's pretty cool. Let's do it. And then here. Let's see. Should finish Soul Reaper. A loyal servant. Char hoarder. Yeah, that works. Two reprints. Start cultist era, the chariot king. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, we actually can't recruit in those tomb guard back either because the Skaven attack has temporarily made that an impossibility. Uh, we still got a lot of infantry, so and we need to put these tomb scorpions somewhere. The question is which army should get them. My will be done. This army's got a ton of anti-infantry capability with the catapults and that, so I mean in, I mean we might as well just try and stick the uh tomb scorpions here. It's gonna take four turns though. Where are the tomb scorpions recruiting from though? right here and recruit faster but I have to spend a couple of turns going over there so I think we probably are better off to just go ahead and start recruiting those and then take the second army that's still full strength and march back here to help at the altar of the uh, horn rat okay almost back to where I want to be you want to go ahead and build that up too so we can get Necropolis Knights and eventually Necropolis Knights with Halberds. And while we have the money, it's a good time for it. 
Let's end the turn. Boy, Teclas is so useful as an ally. He just camps out on my front lawn. Wow, man. Skaven got aggressive. Look, they're going to sail off, so I can't destroy their faction. Filthy rat. <laughs> Filthy rat. <laughs> All right. Head. We will bring you Neferata's head. Stop your worrying. Let's go here so that they don't just march around me and get to it. So let's let him make the next move. Headed him off. We're about to be able to take up another army. Um, which is good. We could use one. We could always use more armies, right? Let's bounce through here. Go knock out the rebellion. Getting our scorpions. Let's check out our building situation. Uh, we can put another scorpion's nest here if we save the money. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We got positive public order going everywhere for once. That's good. Uh, let's see. Jar hoarder. Who man. Yeah, 25 jars. Not bad. I don't really have any clue where Teclas is going, but I guess he's just on a sightseeing tour. Thinks our jungle is nicer than his. About to be in a lot of fights with the Lizardmen, so those Tomb Scorpions won't be a moment too soon. What do you want? Not aggression pact. I don't know. Not right now. Oh, I can't wait to get revenge on Clan Pestilence. It's going to feel so good. Oh, look, Clan... I just came all the way around here, and Clan Pestilence, of course... I should have just pushed forward up close to him. But they went underground because they know their army sucks. And now what they're going to do is pop out underground back here and try and cause more trouble behind my lines. And they'll probably succeed. Oh, my goodness. It really is going to feel good to kill those guys, like, real good. Oh, we've got so many Canopic Jars. We'll have to go craft some cool stuff here in just a minute. A true warrior of Libaras. Nedevamon talk. Yeah, let's finish off Nedevamon talk, because that's a really solid spell. Okay, let's see here. You know what we could do? Let's move under here. Set an ambush. Maybe the Skaven won't see us and they'll come back this direction. It's worth a shot. I got two more turns. We can't can't allow that Skaven army to come through here unchallenged either, though. I'm going to have to stop the Scorpion recruiting and push back this way again. We want to discourage the Skaven from going north. So, yeah, that'll work for now. We get another Casket of Souls, but again, I want to use that money for the Scorpion's Nest. So that's going to go there. All right. Finish the work on that dynasty. Let's go ahead and unlock this guy here. Because we have a ton of Canopic Jars. It's a perfect time to do it. Demon Darkness. Let's go ahead and unlock the area of effect on the Doom of Darkness. And then, really, there's only five things we can get at the Mortuary Cult. Yeah. Potion of Speed is kind of worthless. Never mind, let's just keep saving jars. Wait till we get more trade goods.
if we could discover the main high elf factions and trade with them, that would generate a lot of what we need. Clan Pestilens, yep, look at that. Ran off, now they're gonna head south. Oh my goodness, man. Clan Pestilens? Pest? These guys have a very appropriate name. A very appropriate name. Okay, where'd that other Clan Pestilens army go? I wasn't paying attention. Are the dwarves at war with him? Do the dwarves kill him by chance? No, they're not at war with him. Yes. So it couldn't have been the dwarves. The Skaven army has disappeared for now. We begin. I wonder if they went into an ambush somewhere through here. Aha, there they are. So we can hunt those guys down. Alright. So we found them. And then over here, Alter the Horn Rat is temporarily subdued. This settlement has walls, so they can't immediately take it. And that means we can start pushing back this way and try and recruit those scorpions. Okay, we've unlocked the guy from the third dynasty. He's going to need a Necrotect and a uh, Lich Priest. Let's go ahead and recruit him. That's going to give us extra trade resources. Didn't do much. Might as well put those units in there. You know what? That other army has his Shabti in it, so I think I'll give the Tomb Scorpions to this army because they're going to need something to go along with the Skeletons. guys. Something like that to start with. Okay. Tackles, why don't you get out under the water and go chase down those Skaven? Do something useful. No, oh, falling back. Good. Fall back, coward. Alright, so the two Clan Pestilens armies. Oh, I really want to no kill Clan Pestilens. I really want to kill them. Trade agreements? I don't get anything but Elven Trinkets, I guess. It's not really useful to me, but... Okay. Okay, we should be able to catch up with the Skaven. Pick that up. Um, research. Open up another Lich Priest. That's going to take almost all of our money. Come here. Recruit our Necrotect. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got that happening. This army doesn't really have anything to do right now. Public order in both of these is bad. Let's sit here just a bit longer. See if we can shore up the public order. Next turn we attack there. Let's end it so I can try and get revenge on the Skaven. Yeah, okay, Techless, look at him. Finally being useful. The Clan Pestilence is probably just going to go right back out on the ocean. Nope, they got killed. Techless, he finally did something useful. The good news is I should be able to take Sentinels of Zeti. And the, the uh, Chamber of Visions, or whatever it is, just to the north, so we'll get some extra trade resources there and stuff for the Mortuary Cult. Okay, those guys have Obsidian. I actually probably do need to make friends with them and trade to get a hold of that Obsidian. Just saw that. Oh, 
but we could kill them. That too. Let's go ahead and roll, roll back up to the north. We'll have to start recruiting some more units, but before we do, let's get some... Uh, oh, we're going to get some ever-so-sweet revenge against Lord Skrulk and his filth-mongering rats. Oh, this is going to be sweet, sweet revenge. You got the Tomb Scorpions, all the Ashabti, one with Great Bow. We've got a Screaming Skull Catapult. I mean, these Skaven are going to get absolutely owned. Chariots. I mean, we have, like, everything that is a nightmare to Skaven. Got it. Put chariots like this too. Yeah, we'll just group them both so I can pick them easy. Tomb scorpions right here on the flank. Okay. Let's lock that group up. Shop two with great bow, put them back here. In the group. Okay. Skaven should come attack me, but I guess since I'm just out of range, they're not going to really. Whatever. I really wanted to be in that position where I was at because it's kind of a nice position, but I guess the AI won't march forward unless my artillery's in range of them. Which we should be shortly. Do feel free to sit there and. Idiots summoning a clan rat into an Ashabti. Makes sense. I mean, if you really want to have a very, very short life. That screaming Skull Patapult didn't do much of anything there. Let's take a look at the damage on it. I'm not real familiar with it. So it's poison, armor piercing, magic. Wow. You would think it would do a lot. I guess against ethereal units and stuff it would be pretty bad. But it doesn't seem to cause a ton of damage there. There it finally got a good hit. I'm sure there's going to be more summons, so let's just wait for it. Oh man, was I right. They keep summoning on my shop too with Great Bow. Really strange. That Screaming Skull Catapult is really cool. The effects of it and the look of it, it's, it's pretty neat. Hey, look at this. My Necropolis Knight's already 66 kills on the rats. And we've got this um, Doom and Darkness that we can overcast. We should be able to immediately break the Skaven lines on contact, basically. I don't think we're going to have a good luck hitting that. Let's see if this uh, assassin wants to fight my scorpion. Yeah, you kind of missed there, scorpion, but it looked cool. Look at that. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, air, I wasn't serious. I, I didn't really mean it. We are going to get outflanked pretty significantly here. Let's keep some units back to protect the catapults. Okay. Oh, I forgot we had this uh, breath spell. 
and see if there's a good spot for it. This ought to be a pretty good angle. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's cool looking. That did a lot of damage also. That was nice. Shatter the center of this real quick. I don't know how the Skaven leadership is holding up in the center. There it goes. There it goes. Skinner to say, I don't think so, fellas. Storm Vermin. Just start breaking it down. Get into this fight and help out if you don't mind. Let's go chase down some of these routing units. Shopti. Let's go help some of these units over here. Come on, go chase. Give chase. Team Scorpion's beating up on the assassin. Keep chasing. Yeah. And let's kill Skrulk. Alright, Kalita. Do your thing. Let's see if we can debuff Skrulk and get him. Let's look at Skrulk up in here. There's Kalita. Yeah, run, you stinking coward. Can someone chase him down by chance? Oh, look at this, look, look at this. It's about to be a lot less Skaven in this vicinity. That did it. Okay, let's push forward. Get up here. There's just a bunch of scattered Skaven all around. Let's get after that assassin. Let's come back over here and hit that in the back. Should be about to shatter their whole army. Very close to it, at least. Those sepulchral stalkers sat there and just tanked out all that infantry. Of course, it was crappy infantry, but... Scorpion. Let's keep chasing all this stuff down. Which priest? Where is he at? Yeah, we got him. So revenge was sweet. That ability right there is amazing. Legionary barrage. That was good. He got us a ton of kills. I don't think those get counted anywhere, but all right, we finally got revenge on Skrulk. And that's going to be it for this episode. Do hope you all enjoyed it. Heir of Carthage, signing out for now. I will have more videos for you soon. Wow, we got a ton of kills here because of all the rats. Look at that skeleton chariot, 311. 261 on the Necropolis Knights. Decisive victory. Give me back my settlement, Skrulk. Better not have filled it full of rat droppings, which you probably did. Alright, so I will see you all next time.